Hey, hey there everybody, good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are and whenever you're watching this video. As this is Davis again and I'm coming with a bonus tutorial on um still on my star series of learning still boring stuff. Okay, so we um I got a couple of questions asking about what a, um if you have an animation player in as your player sprite or something like that so i just did a prototype using same stuff i have an animation player with my sprites there so there is this other sprite um actually the animations the i actually got these from um a particular company like that and here you see it has the same h frames this has three h frames and two v frames and so is this one okay so the same thing three hit frames and two hit frames but imagine if you have a couple of sprites and maybe one of them doesn't really correspond to what you're looking for like the third one here so this third one does not have any v frame and it's all hit frames so how are we gonna do that well actually first of all you have to just um most likely this is how your game will look um I just restructured everything and this guy since he had a different number of frames I just put him as the H um, sorry but I just put the amount of H frames that he needed and just um, left this ones as the ones that they are already like this one has two H two V frames and three H frames and this one has one H one V frame and seven H frames so I just arranged it so that it look the way it meant to look and this girl has the same thing with the boy but this guy is a different one so imagine if we come to the player here and maybe we give it a sprite like when uh, let's say the character um actually select this guy now so if it's like this guy it's not really going to have nice gameplay so which is which is very weird and, and annoying and, and, and just disgraceful so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through what we need to do so most likely um, your game will actually still look like this um, mine what I just did was since I have new assets um, I, I removed my favorite assets <laughs> okay so since I have new assets I just um, made new ones yeah and just put the account path in there so what we want to do now is we want to change the H frames and V frames when it comes to this guy. So this guy is the player three. That means it's the he has the second index. Sorry, yeah, he has the second index. So it's zero, one, and two. So the since he has the second index, what we're going to be doing is after we load the store, we're going to be getting this variable, um, the selected variable. So we're just going to copy this and say if we're going to paste it there. So if we select if the selected number is going to be if it's equal to two then we want to change this h frames and v frame this is actually very simple we just say sprite dot h frames the v frame sorry and it's going to be equal to the amount of h frames that you want so that you've noticed that that sprite has so it's gonna in this case we're gonna say seven and it's v frames so we're gonna say sprite the v frames um it's gonna be equal to two okay so i'm sorry one since he has only one h frame so that's nice stuff um i think this should be all we need just what it's doing is just when it comes and it sees that the type of sprite that we changed to is this guy it's just going to change the h frames and the v frames here um and otherwise it's going to return it to the normal way okay so this is nice stuff really nice stuff and um as you can see here since it has seven H frames um, actually this my character has six H frames sorry six frames in total but that one is gonna have seven frames in total actually the seventh frame will actually be um, around here but actually we just have to get rid of it just to take some things out okay so that that should that should do it and we're gonna hit F5 to just check this out and hopefully what we've done will work out for us so as you can see here by um in the the last time I opened this um I selected this guy. So see him here is over here selected. So imagine if I select this girl, it's it just just arranges everything nicely for us. 
And as you can see, the girl can be running. Actually, I changed to a platformer so that I can really um, illustrate this. So here you can select this guy back, and you see that he walks the way um, everybody walks. He just, he's just, it's just really nice. Um, yeah. So there's no big deal with using your animation players if, if allowed. So if you have any questions, you can leave it down in the comment section or go on my Discord. Uh, hit me up on any social media. I'll be happy to help you. And if you have, um, if you want me to make any tutorial, any suggestions, if you have any suggestions. Also, you can leave it down in the comments or use any social media platforms given down in the comment section. Okay, all those links will be down in the comment section. Thank you for watching and goodbye.